Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here, and I'm going to be doing my version of the Iron Man guide for soloing Sarah. Uh, this is kind of just my preference on how I do things and also to help you guys out. Um, I used to solo Sarah a lot on my main account and go with groups, and recently I've been getting into it into my Iron Man. Personally, I think Sarah Doman is the easiest boss, God Wars Engine boss, and I can get the most kills per trip. However, that's just my opinion. So, things that you have to have in order to solo Sarah is that you need to have 70 agility and you need to bring two ropes if it's your first attempt. So, my recommendation is once you have that 70 agility and you go into God Wars Dungeon, if your first time going to God Wars Dungeon, you only need three ropes. So, one on the entrance of God Wars, which I'll show you, and then two in the entrance before Sarah Domen. And I would go ahead and place all those ropes and then go bank and get prepped up and everything. Now, there are a lot of things that I really recommend, and I think 95 plus range is what's going to be really useful as an Iron Man. Uh, you can go with 90 plus range. I just think the higher the range you have, the better. My count is 99 when I started doing Sarah because I'm not really in a rush to do God Wars Dungeon. I'm more into leveling my account and stuff, but I think doing... Ceradomen is best when you have a spiritual creatures task because as you kill, get your 40 KC for Sarah, you can uh, get some Slayer done. Uh, another thing that's highly recommended is a blowpipe uh, because the minions are killed so fast with the blowpipe. I actually only have mithril darts in here and I've been killing down the minions extremely fast. But for Ceradomen herself, I use the Rune Crossbow. Another thing that's recommended is your Archer's Ring, your Necklace of Anguish, anything that's going to give you that huge range bonus. Um, so that's what I recommend. And if you want to change anything out, my best thing to say is instead of Armadillo Chaps, you can go ahead and bring like a Varric Skirt or something because the minion, there is a Ranger minion, so that may help you take less damage. However, you're going to have less of a range bonus. That's completely up to you. Um, I'll change it to the skirt for the sake of the video. It's how your setup is how you want. But another thing I highly recommend is make sure you have that Zam Zamrak item and your Saradomen item. Those are the two probably big ones. Because you're going to be hit by Zamrak and Saradomen minions before when you're getting your KC uh, your kill count along with, you know, uh, probably Bandos and a few others. But Zamrak and Saradomen are the two main ones. The Cajuns are great. They boost your range bonus, Archer's Ring imbued, all those things like that. The Assembler, if you can get that. Any kind of range bonus is going to help you huge on Sarah. And then some decent defense is important too. Um, so that's my setup. I also, my first one was with Armadillo Chaps. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. You can kind of change things up. If you're bringing Guthins, I would switch out this Varric Plate Skirt for a Guthins Plate Skirt. Uh, the next thing is Bones to Peaches tabs always help. If you have Guthins, bring Guthins. It really helps. Uh, this is my setup. I only bring one Stamina. However, you can bring two Staminas. Scroll, scroll of Redirection, you get those from Nightmare Zone, and you can go ahead and just switch both of these tabs. I bring mantas, you can bring anglers, that's up to you. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that <clears throat> really stands out. Of course, if it's your first time, make sure you bring those two ropes. If you first time into God Wars and under bring three ropes, I would do that first and then get geared up. Uh, I am on a spiritual creatures task, and I really enjoy that. So for Sarah Doman, some people bring Ruby and then switch to Diamond. I'm only bringing Diamond because every little extra damage you take affects you. That's up to you. A lot of this is simply preference for me. Uh, this is how I like to do it. And uh, as always in the comments, people t tend to put like a different perspective or what they think uh, that may help you guys out too. So make sure you read the comments. Okay, so, um, yes, I only bring a few brews. Sometimes people do full inventory of brews and restores. I prefer not to. It's just not my, my thing, but you can do that as well. So, full inventory of brews and restores and raging pots, you can do that as well. Okay, so, let's head to God Wars Dungeon. You need to have Edgar's Brews completed to have the Trollhind teleport. And the scroll of redirection tabs are used on a house teleport, and you can get those from Nightmare Zone. So, let's go ahead and get going there. 
And uh, let's see, revert. We're going to revert this back to a house teleport. Some people asked about bringing Void. Uh, that's up to you. To me, Void is so has no defense bonuses that you just get wrecked and it's not recommend recommended in my opinion uh also you could switch out this shield for a twisted buckler if you have that that's huge another huge recommendation that is very difficult to get and most iron men that are watching this video probably don't have it is rigor rigor increases your damage by 23 percent and your defense by 25 percent and it's just increases your range attack by 20 percent it's and an incredible prayer and will help you so much at Sarah. Uh, however, it is certainly not required. And I know Iron Man that have that a thousand KC plus that don't have rigor. But to be honest, rigor is a beast at Sarah Dome, no doubt. And I think that's why I consider it my easiest God Wars boss because rigor has helped me out so much. Um, but yeah, so basically when you get to the God Wars engine, hopefully you've already placed your rope down here to enter the hole if you haven't been here before. Okay, you're going to get attacked a little bit. You're going to have to get 40 KC on Saradome and kills before you can get in, of course. Uh, you can also wear a Slayer Helm imbued if you want. That's completely up to you. I did not bring it because um, I get more of a range bonus off the Samurai Coif. Um, but basically, right here, I'm just, you know, killing these peeps, uh, and you're going to get 40 of these kills. You can also place your ropes and go down the two ropes, and there's a bunch of Ceradomen monsters there that you can kill as well to speed things up. But I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and go ahead and get my KC, and I'll be back, guys. Um, <clears throat> okay, I got my, um... 40 KC. Actually, it was I got 44 because I wanted to finish up my uh, Slayer task. But um, we're good to go now, and I'll brew up and everything before I go in. I think there's someone down here, so I may have to hop worlds. If you brought your two ropes, you can go ahead and use them on the rocks and climb down. Yeah, I think someone's in there. What? I guess not. Okay. Well, let's hope for the best here. I'm gonna go ahead and brew up. Okay. And drink that, this and that, and that, and that, and this, okay? What you want to do is you're going to be going on the corners. So it's hard to explain, but each corner you're going to run uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. I don't think it actually matters. You're going to pray mage and go ahead and get a good distance away from her before you switch the corner. So you're just going to keep running corners like this. Turn around and hit her and continue. This is simply as easy as it gets, guys. I think I just hit the uh, minion. Be careful on that, but see, hit, move, hit, move, boom. And you can keep running the corners like this and drink a, a stamina if you need to. That's what you bring it for, but usually you regen your health with no problem. As you can see, it's not too bad. Make sure you also don't have auto retaliate on. I actually forgot to turn that off. And you may not want to cut the corners too quick. So here, one hit, move, and you just run north. You want to wait to the last moment, though, usually. If you let her come close to you, she can hit 60s on you and one hit you. That's why the whole purpose of staying your distance, basically. You do not want Commander Ziliana to hit you because that's where her damage is. She can hit constant 20s on you and on her special hit those 60s, as I said. So that's the big deal with her. Wait on the corner for a second and then run. Um... Make sure if you don't have rigor, you have eagle eye on. So hit and run. Let me see what we got going on here. There it goes. Another good hit. Wait in the corner for a quick second. Maybe you can even hit her. Don't try to get lucky and let her hit you. That's just not a smart thing to do because she just hits like crazy. That's the only problem. You do not want her. I cut the corner too fast there. That's the, See, there's the 27. If you cut too fast... It can be a problem. Way and then run. See what I'm saying? So with Ziliana, you just need to make sure that you don't cut the corners too soon and you don't let her hit you. You know, do not let her get too close to you. That is the whole object of her. And you're going to keep running the corners. Hit and run, hit and run, just each corner. You can go counterclockwise or 
clockwise. I don't think it actually matters, whatever feels better for you. And a lot of this is preference. After your first run, you're going to start to feel what is best with this boss. Okay, why is she not dying? This is infuriating. One more hit. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, I gotta just be a little careful with her. She'll, she'll hit constantly on you. Whoa, exactly. So that's a good example, basically. Dang, it's so frustrating when she's low health like this and you don't hit anything. So the prayer is also a big deal here if you're using rigor. Um, because it's going to drain your prayer a lot. So make sure you watch your prayer and that nothing has gone down on it. Okay, I think that's... Ooh, that's still not a kill. Goodness gracious. I've had her on this low health for a while. That's so, so frustrating. But these corners is exactly what you're going to stick to. There she goes. Alright, and once she's down, switch to your blowpipe. You can heal up, heal up on Growler. He's the first you want to kill. You can also flick prayers right here. I'm just not that pro. You won't see me doing that. Alright guys, I wanted to show y'all kind of a real kill and uh, I think I got three or four kills out of that trip and some people with more practice bring more brews and can get seven to ten to twelve kills a trip. So I hope y'all get to there to that one point one day and thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you're welcome to subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for so much for watching and I hope y'all have a great day.